Hello, 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 it's your mom of three. I'm still here in NYC and I am back with another video. Yay! If this is your first time on my channel, hey. Hey girl, hey guy, hey. My name is Teneza. You guys, I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with my nails. I'll link the video below. I just uploaded it yesterday. My new Barbie inspired manicure. I'm obsessed. Anywho. My name is Tanae, I'm a mother of three, sensitive. All three of my kids are sensitive in their own way. Sensitive kids living in the heart of New York City. I would love to invite you to be adopted into my YouTube family, my tribe, and all you have to do, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. If you are already subscribed, thank you for the support. Please make sure that your post notifications are on so that you never, ever, 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 ever miss an upload. All right, this video is a hair video. Hair care. I always think of Kenya Moore hair care. <laughs> I've never used any of her products. But anywho, so I'm just going to do a simple style. I am going to do, I have an outpatient treatment tomorrow and it's easier if I go ahead and just put my braids in tonight before I go to bed. So anywho, I'm just going to do two cornrows, my mom's old, old school style of doing it. It's their cornrows. They're not feeding cornrows. I'm using all my own natural hair. I do not know how to stitch braid. Again, like super, super duper simple. So what I'm going to be using, my hair tools, I laid them all out for you guys. All right. So I'm going to be using this guy to part my hair. I'll be using this guy to comb it out. The beauty of this comb, you guys, is that like once you comb it out, it's combed out. Because sometimes with like regular combs, it still tangles back up, but this guy is good. My favorite detangling comb. And then I have a boar's head brush to smooth down my edges. In terms of hair products, I'll probably use my homemade hair oil, even though my hair is super moisturized right now. Y'all know my goat. Never leave home without it. And then I haven't decided what I'm gonna use on my part. I had locks for almost seven years. Did you guys know that? So I'm either gonna use this Murray's gel lock or I'll use the Sulfur 8. Probably this guy. We're gonna start with this guy. All right, so, so I have been braiding my hair since I was a child. I don't even remember being like taught how to I don't remember being taught how to braid. I just, I feel like I've always picked up on it. So I'm gonna do two. I don't do straight back cornrows. I'll do them to kind of curve around my crown. So I'm going to part it kind of slanted, if that makes sense. I do my best to part straight, you guys. I really do. I do my best. I'm going to do my best, you guys. And believe it or not, this style will actually last me a couple of days. If I were to add hair, it would it would last longer. But I'm not adding hair today. doing it by feel. I'm using the hand mirror that I would use to check my part for the video, so hopefully it doesn't come out cray cray cray. All right, so I'm completely parted. I think so.
These gimme scrunchies, guys, I, I need to be sponsored by them. They're the truth. The best, the best were bands I've ever used. But they're not even rubber or bands. Ponytail holder. They're even elastic. They're cloth and they're amazing. Okay. Let's see how tangled it is before I dampen it. I'm obsessed. I paid like three sixty eight for this, you guys, and it's it's crazy how like the old school product works even better than the twenty dollar, thirty dollar creams that we use nowadays. Oh, not too bad. Okay, okay, comb through, comb through, comb through. Here for it. That was not bad at all. Let me come out the back. I was a true church lady today. You guys would have been proud of me. I wore like a church lady hat. And so I had my hair styled in a low, a low ponytail. It was super cute. The hat that I got from Zara. So I'll link this video below, making my own hair oil. I'll go ahead and oil my scalp. Actually, let me actually go ahead and get in here for a minute. It's always a good idea, in my opinion. Every chance you get. Mm-hmm. And that's the beauty of this little spout there, is that it gets in there. All right, let's get started. I think I already used this. <laughs> I wouldn't use it again already. Okay, we already put it in here. Let me put some of my ends. And to be honest, you guys, this is not really something that I used to do, but for some reason, the Instagram police fill my feed with knotless braid videos constantly. I'm just gonna use this guy. I just need something a little, you can see that, just to lay down my part. All right, so I'm gonna try and make this guy as neat as I can, you guys. Is the part okay? Is the part okay in the back? It feels okay. We're gonna do what it do. And so if I make faces, you guys, if you guys know, I'm very tender-headed, very, very, very. And so I grimace even, I make faces even when I try not to. So forgive me. Whew. Start with your three pieces. And I actually use my thumb to part. I do want to learn how to stitch braid though, because it looks so neat. I know I had a Barbie head growing up, so maybe that's kind of where I practiced. I'm sure my mother taught me how to braid, but I'm sure like I practiced on my Barbie head. She was beautiful. And it's wild because you can't cut the hair, right? Because you won't have any more hair to practice on. So I just practice like twists and braids. I'm sorry if I sway. It's kind of like what I do when I braid. Okay, Cornell, you see that? You guys like it? So far, okay? And again, the purpose of this style is to have, I have to wear a bonnet for my treatment tomorrow, a hospital bonnet. And so I just would rather my hair be neat and braided. You see that guys? 
She's straight. That's the goal. Keep her straight. I really want baby girl. I got her a Barbie head. I really want her to want to learn how to do her hair this year. So that's kind of like one of my projects with her this summer is teaching her how, is teaching her how to sew and how to braid her own hair. At least braid, not even cornrow yet. I mean, we, we can try it, but at least if we get up, get up in the morning and be able to comb her hair and braid it. She's 10. She's going into the fifth grade. So there's the cornrow. And then I'll just turn it, bring it into the front to braid it out. And then with this, the ends, I'll either pin it into each other like a halo, but I think I'm just gonna actually Put in a cute little bun, a cute little knot. Oops, sorry. I'm hearing that. Some blue magic. <laughs> Guys, when I tell you, I grew up on Ultra Sheen, but for some reason I cannot find it anywhere. But this blue magic has been giving me life, giving me all the feels, and I love that. Blessed assurance. What do they call they call these Pocahontas braids sometimes too? Blessed assurance. Alright, one down. One down, one to go. A cute little 20 minute. Can we do it in 20 minutes, you guys? Can we do this in 20 minutes? Can we? A cute little 20 minute two cornrow style. On my right will be on your left. Side combed out really easily. Let's see if this side will just be a blessing to us. Let's see. been coating my hair with this blue magic you guys I have a you know what I said before I have a mini beauty supply store under my bathroom cabinet I have every product you could think of literally I bet if I were a betting woman what do you need mousse gel edge control wax creams leave-in condition whatever you need I got it so again, I'll take this opportunity to go ahead and, oof, it was so good. I did a double dose of the tea tree oil in this batch and you can really, oh, it feels so good on my scalp, you guys. I do have a bang. I think I'm gonna braid it though, I'm not gonna, where the bang? I'm gonna let the bang be braided. How's that for alliteration? You guys, I'm so excited. I haven't done this in a long time, which is why I said, let me go ahead and put the camera on. 
and share this moment with my tribe. Woo. All right, so this guy, we're gonna mirror this one. So we're just gonna braid this one going around. Again, start the very tip of your braid. Get your three pieces and get to braiding. I'm still deciding, you guys, when I go um, go on vacation, am I gonna... So I really do want to just get some jumbo knotless at my braiding salon I go to. It's on 125th Street in Harlem. But then part of me does not because I really want to wear... I'm really into skincare and skin protection. I really want to be able to wear like floppy sun hat. Let me see if I like the start. Okay, that's okay. And with braids, it, my head's already so big, I'm not sure that a hat could fit over my head and the braids. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably gonna be inspired by Spicy Shauna. She got her hair braided last week, I believe, for her family reunion. So the goal is just to really make it as neat as possible and to braid every hair. And then overnight I will, I'll wear a scarf. I don't wear bonnets, you guys. I try to wear bonnets, but that's just not my jam. They don't stay on my head. I'm not sure if, if I'm too wild of a sleeper, but yeah. I'll tie it down with a cute scarf. Be good to go in the morning. I try not to braid too close to my edges to protect them. Edges have been like a major topic of conversation. We never used to, I mean, I don't know, maybe I take it for granted, but edges is not something that, I guess we did take it for granted. We were worried about, I didn't grow up worried about my edges. I don't know. I'm just so thankful that my hair was not tangled from today's style. And I like to continue combing as I braid because as you braid, your hair does get caught into each other. And just to maintain a really nice, smooth look. Okay, even braid. And when I say even, I mean going around my head. minutes we did it 20 minute to braid how cute oh, I'm gonna add some extra love to my ends 20 minutes hey and I wasn't even shooting for it, it just kind of happened it helped that my hair was not tangled I like to braid to the very end and then to twist up in a curl. I do not like my ends loose at all. And I do not like using elastics on my ends. So there you go. There you have it. All right, 
So, hopefully it, look, it comes at the straight, the back. Alrighty, so as I mentioned before, so I've had this for probably years. I used to use a lot of Care Care, believe it or not. I was a really big into Care Care and I was really big into Aveda, like throughout, I would say college years. Care Care, I love Aveda still the way it smells, but it's a wax stick. And so that's kind of what I use. And then I have to, to I, sorry, this is what I finished my sentence. This is what I use to lay my edges. And then I have long sideburns, so it's always a question of will it fit in the braid behind my ear or should I just go ahead and curl it? So I think this time we're just going to go ahead and curl it, but let me go ahead and get these edges now, girl. Believe it or not, I do add product to my... Cute! Okay, girl! Again, super simple super easy just good products and as i mentioned i will oh so here's the gimme so i've been showing you the gimme elastics i'll put a picture right here for you guys in black and i have all different medium hair thick hair this is a medium hair blonde so i'll use that because it's closest to my hair color And I'll double it and I'll triple it. And I'll just put it around in a bun, but I won't go all the way to the end. I'll just go there. Okay, super simple. I think it's so elegant too. Do you guys love? There are my edges. If you guys don't know, I am natural, except for the hair color. I was not born blonde, but I don't have a relaxer or a keratin or a what's the thing with four relaxer I forgot what's that called oh no texturizer that's what it's called so no relaxer no texturizer cute little 20 minute two braid easy breezy all right once again oh I want to show you all the hair that I lost I collected it for you in the braiding process and combing it out actually. So this is the hair that came out. Very good. My hair was really, really moisturized. So I parted with this comb, just one single part. And after I parted it, I just put some of the sulfur eight on the part to keep the hair separated. I combed through, I put my hair into four sections. Once I parted it, I put it into four sections and combed it through with this. I used my boar's head brush to lay down the edges before I began to braid. While my hair was parted, I used my homemade oil to kind of get to my scalp. That's a benefit sometimes of these protective styles is that you're able to get to that scalp. So this is what I use this, y'all my goat. I used this going down the shaft of the hair and I did it on my ends as well. When I made my bun though, you guys, I made sure not to twist the bun, the, the gimme ponytail holder to the end. I wanna break off my ends. And then I finished off with my, look how much I've used you guys. This thing was like all the way down there. I've used probably, oh, almost two thirds of it styling wax stick it's just always worked for me i i think it's a little bit more substantial than a lightweight gel and it has no residue that's the main point what i love about it. it has no 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 flakiness no none of that white stuff none of the above e you know <laughs> test a b c here e it's e all righty so part comb out oil brush grease it braid it, twist it. And there you go. I've shared one of my secrets. My mother used to always, always, always do her hair like this and braid my hair like this. So it's a throwback to my childhood. A quick 20 minute two cornrow 
style if i were to tie it down this may actually last me the week you guys so we'll see you'll see you'll see my videos that I upload every single day any questions guys or any comments just drop them down below i do read and reply to every single comment have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you in my next video bye for now tribe